Good morning, members, and to the public uh, here in, uh, as well in the gallery, and to our viewing public uh, watching through uh, social media and television. The chair will now call this first day, first special session into order, dated Friday, April 5th, 2024. And at this time, if we can stand for a moment of silence. Thank you, members. At this time, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Representative Fata. Representative Faudan. Representative Fata. Present. Senator Babauta. Present. Representative Binaventi. Very good. Representative Komatsu Angelo. Present. Representative Komatsu Diego. Present. Representative Komatsu Joel. Yeah. Representative Komatsu Vicente. Present. Representative Castro. Senator De Leon Guerrero. Here. Representative Flores jo Joseph. Representative Flores Marisa. Senator Mag Magofnia. Guy Gab. Representative Manglonia. Representative Omar. Present. Representative Props. Present. Chairman Sablan. Mr. Yeah. Gap. Representative Villa Gomez. Hello. Representative Yangtamai. Representative Yumo. Mr. Chairman, we have 15 members present, six members absent. Thank you, Madam Clerk. We have 15 members present. We have duly established a quorum. Please take note that Representative Marisa Flores, Representative Manny Castro, Representative TJ Manglonia, Representative Joseph Flores, Representative uh, Roy Ada, and Representative uh, Denita Yangtamai are hereby excused on today's uh, order of business. Thank you, uh, members. Moving along in our order of business, we are now on item B, reading and approval of the journal. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have one Snyder Journal number 2311, first day, third regular session, dated February 7th, 2024. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And at this time, I recognize the floor leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members. I now offer a motion to adopt Snyder Journal 2311, first day, third regular session, dated February 7th, 2024. So moved. There is a motion offered uh, by our floor leader for the adoption of uh, Snyder Journal. 23-11, it has been seconded. Discussion on the motion. Ready? All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed, say nay. Motion carries. Journal adopted. Uh, moving along, we are now on item C, public comments. And at this time, uh, the chair will open the podium for any of our uh, members of the public who are here in the gallery uh, that wishes to make comments. Please state your name for the record. And if you can... Uh, provide your testimony based on what's reflective on today's order of business. At this time, the podium is open and you have five minutes. Okay. Buenas and uh, Lisor. Um, I'll see June Coleman, uh, Executive Director of 500 Sales, uh, here on behalf of our organization, uh, organization requesting uh, assistance and uh, funding for one of our um, innovative uh, beach canoe programs, uh, where we're really setting out to rebrand our islands as a unique and special destination that was uh, recognized through many centuries for its uh, sailing and traditional canoes. And uh, we feel that um, this opportunity that we're providing is something that is uh, equivalent to a great lifetime memory for our visitors, as well as our uh, community here. 
it's an integral part to realize that the traditions of our past are really um, viable solutions for our future, especially in the tourism industry. Um, and that's what we're, we're requesting um, help with to help establish this um, rebranding of our islands. And it's taking great traction already with the pilot project, thanks to the help of uh, MVA, HandMe, uh, Wella Foundation. Um, we've been able to uh, take quite a bit of number of people out and uh, the experiences all reflected uh, very, very in enlightening, refreshing, and as many of them have stated, probably the best activity they've enjoyed while being here in Saipan. I invite any and all of you, if you haven't already tried um, our uh, traditional canoes, it's something that will really empower you and give you a good sense of our cultural identity and will help you to understand that promoting this type of um, experience is going to benefit all aspects and all industries within uh, the CNMI, not just tourism, but even for businesses, uh, for the education system. All of these things are um, going to be uh, greatly benefited by the work that we're, we're doing. And uh, we ask for your support for this project. We have some um, data to um, pass out. And uh, just so you can get a glimpse of some of the things that, that are happening out there, um, we have um, a lot of support from people, but um, you know it does take um, some funding to to carry out to help uh, our sailors and the captains, and just the program maintenance of the vessels, all these kind of things. Uh, for the most part, we've been operating um, without charging. So um, anyway, take a look at those things. I believe we sent out letters with regards to the requests. Um, over a month ago. If you didn't get a letter, um, we'll be sure to get one to you. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm available to answer any of them. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you, uh, Mr. Coleman. The podium is still open for anyone here in the gallery that wishes to make comments. Please state your name for the record. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Chairman. Uh, good morning, representatives and senators. My name is Gloria Kavanaugh. Uh, I'm Vice President of Marianas Eland, uh, as well as the uh, Chair of MVA. We've been working with uh, this group, 500 Cells, for, for many, many years. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm really proud to say that I was also part of MVA when, when they first started and they, they asked for funding and it was something that we were convinced would make a difference. Years later, they're, they're doing uh, just this program at, at Hyatt in front of the beach and, and already making some traction and then started to go bigger with, with doing two beaches, which is uh, Fiesta, or <laughs> Fiesta, Crown and, and Hyatt, uh, in which the participation rate has, has grown tremendously. It's not only when they, they act, when the visitors come here, but it's also a, a very good tool to promote the island when we're out, uh, whether or not in Korea, Japan, or anywhere else. So I, I believe we even uh, presented it when we went to Australia, when we went to Malaysia, when we go to, to uh, ADEX, you know. It, it actually has become a tool that our offshore offices, and as well as our headquarters, uses in order to promote the island. You know, for many, many years, I've been involved in tourism uh, here, and, and it's always been explained and asked, you know, we, why or how are we going to promote our culture? Uh, you know, I think that this, this program is very successful, but we need to make sure that it continues on. You know, we always understand that, you know, money is going to be the issue. And this year, especially, money is, is really hard to come around. But, you know, I, I believe that if you are looking at the programs that you do uh, consider, you know, that this is one of those programs that are really worthwhile, not only for our people here in the CNMI, but also for our tourists that come here. Right now, it's a pilot program, so they don't charge. Uh, you know, they will charge, but it's going to be, and it, it is now, one of those programs that is a must-see. And, you know, it's done so professionally that it's something that we should really be proud of. 
and your support, uh, you know, is, you know, very much appreciated when it comes to this program. Like I said, MBA, since the inception or since the idea, before they even brought out or built the first boat, we were on board and we were providing some funding. We have provided some funding this year, but ongoing and in order to make the program even bigger and offered to more and more people, they're going to need continual funding. And so I really would like to ask you to consider uh, helping this organization help the island as a destination. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Governor. Podium is still open. Hafidade Zantiro, I am honored to be speaking to this august body. And I am speaking, I'm Emma Perez, co-founder of 500 Sales. And I'm also here to speak in support of the Beach Canoe Project. Um, you may have recently received a video uh, this morning. If you do, please get a chance to see it before lunch. First off, I want to pose a question. Hafa Idza, what if? My husband Peter and I came here over 10 years ago with a dream of building one Chamorro canoe. Just one. Because we found out that Chamorros had canoes and we didn't know that growing up. And today, four canoes are on their way to Festpack to represent the CNMI, three Chamorro canoes and one Carolinian canoe. And this is the first time that the CNMI has had this presence. And we should all as a community be proud and happy about this because we didn't do it alone. We did it with all of you, all your children, all your family, all the, the helpful partners we have here. But anyway, what if? So we had a dream of one canoe and we wanted to revive something that was lost. But about a year ago, I started thinking, well, what if? what if? What if we had never lost our canoes? What would this community look like right now? And I've asked um, kids at gatherings that we've had, and we hear things like, well, we would all know how to swim and sail. Um, we would like nature and know more about nature. We'd have more oceanographers. We'd have more people in the Coast Guard. We'd have more people in the Navy. And um, having more Pacific Islanders in the Navy might help the Navy with some of the decisions that they make. But what if we would be healthier? There wouldn't be so much diabetes and all that kind of stuff. So we went from a revival dream to a Hafaidza dream. And the beach canoes is, an, is one of those. We would have, we are in such a unique position here because we have both the Chamorro maritime traditions that are again growing and the Carolinian. I think we're the only place that has two such wonderful maritime traditions. And this is a unique thing for the CNMI. So the next dream was, okay, let's get 20 canoes on five sites that would be 70 well-paying maritime jobs. And we're training people through our Cultural Maritime Training Center, which we got funded by ANA. We've had three ANA grants, but they funded the CMTC. So now what we're doing is we're teaching people how to be captains, how to get their merchant marine credentials. And um, by doing that, which happens to be a drug-free program, we're helping the youth have not only ties to their cultural background, but a good lifestyle. So that's the dream of the beach canoes in about three years, we wanna see that. So this is the pilot project. We've been working with Hyatt, we've been working with Crown and with our other partners to figure out the logistics of it. We've been working with DPL and DCRM to make sure that we're doing it correctly so that we can fill the lagoons with sails. All the visitors will take pictures of them. It's free marketing. And the people on the canoes are locals and we're hoping they're young people that will stay. Um, but anyway, I just wanted that Hafa Idza, think about that. This is not just one project. This is a transformative project. Um, I also wanted to let you know that what we've been seeing as far as the reach of 500 sales, 
and how it portrays the CNMI. We've been in the LA Times. We've been in the New York Times Magazine. We've been on the BBC. We've, we're seeing reported, uh, lots of reports about Japanese press and we've been, uh, CBS has reached out to us. We're getting the attention of this international press because of the unique and beautiful things that are going on here with our canoes and our people. Um, so we have, we're always being proactive about finding funding. The, our boatyard right now is closed down because we're doing a renovation. We got a $1.6 million from EDA to renovate that facility. We are gonna have a state of the art boatyard here in the CNMI, possibly the best in the Pacific. Um, so I guess I just want to close with Hafa Idza. Really think about that and that the transformative effect, the amount that we have asked for will provide. Thank you, Ms. Emma Perez. Podium still open. Please state your name for the record. Thank you. Buenos dias, lesser mwamwai, amaga umogaan, chairman and distinguished uh, members of the Saipan Northern Islands uh, legislative delegation. Guahu, si Francis Sablon. I am the executive director for the Marianas Alliance of Non Governmental Organizations, Mas Matungonya Como Mango, and I'm here in very strong support of the requests of by 500 cells that is an outstanding member of MANGO, along with Hagan Wong, uh, which is also an, out an outstanding member of MANGO, and also in strong support of uh, funding requested for the FESPAC delegation. Uh, like Emma and June, I am also one of the 100 delegates that will be representing the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Um, Emma and June and uh, five others uh, will be representing the seafarers. I will be the Lone Ranger as a storyteller. So we have outstanding and very talented um, artisans and uh, leaders of our community representing our beautiful islands. And so if you can, Please send all of us, and not just a few of us. Sidu Usmasi. Thank you, uh, Mr. Blon. Thank you. Podium still open for anyone here who wishes to make comments. Congratulations to the uh, 500 sales on a uh, job well done. Good morning, half a day, and Tiro Chairman Sub Jampo Sablon and honorable members of the Saipan and Northern Islands Legislative Delegation. For the record, my name is Jampo B. Rages, Acting Special Assistant under the Office of the Governor. On behalf of Governor Arno I. Palacios and Lieutenant Governor David M. Apeting, I thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. I am here to extend the administration's appreciation and express our gratitude to you, Chairman Sablon, as well as to your Committee on Judiciary and Government Operations, spearheaded by Edith de Leon Guerrero and members for their time, effort, you've all put into reviewing and examining our nominee. This morning, you'll be entertaining an outstanding committee report 23-13, the appointment of, of Mr. Joseph S. Rios to the CNMI Cannabis Commission, and as always, the administration asks for your favorable consideration. Your untiring effort on entertaining the nominee is just a step forward as the administration complete the vacancies for all boards and commission. Again, Chairman Sablon, and to you, honorable members of this uh, esteemed delegation, Governor Arno Y. Palacios and Lieutenant Governor David M. Apeteng extends their sincere appreciation for your generous and favorable con consideration on behalf of our nominee. Thank you, Sizus Mossi Zangliso. Thank you, uh, Mr. Regis. The podium is still open to anyone here in the gallery that wishes to make comments. 
I see that there is no more public further public comments. So at this time, we move uh, further down in our order of business and we move down to item D, introduction of local bills. And at this time, I recognize Senator Corina Magofnia. Um, thank you, Chairman. Um, members, I would like to formally introduce um, Senate Local Bill 2303 to amend the Nuisance Abatement and Blighted Property Maintenance Act of 2018 and for other purposes. Um, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, uh, Senator uh, Magofnia. The floor leader will be uh, referring uh, this uh, uh, local bill to uh, the Committee of Zoning on a later date. Uh, there happens to be none uh, further in uh, item D, so we uh, move down to item E, introduction of local resolutions. There happens to be none. We move down to item F, messages from the governor. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have five. We have governor's communication number 2335 to 2339. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Discussion on uh, messages from the governor. I recognize our representative, Yumo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just want to get a status update. Oh, first of all, thank you to the administration for signing uh, Saipan Local Law 2206. However, uh, it's been uh, over a month since the bill was signed into law. And so we need a status update as to uh, what has happened to the funds? As you know, the 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 fund was intended to to be used to clean up uh, Western Garapan District, as well as the lighting issues all over Precinct Three uh, along Garapan uh, Gualarai Crossing, um, Chinatown uh, Street Light um, going into Gold's Gym. Uh, that needs to be addressed. As as you know, there was a person that got hit there, and because of the lighting issues there, we need to place lights there, as well as the crossing um, at LJ Street Market. There need to be lighting there. Uh, as you know, there's another person that got hit there a while back ago, um, as well as the most important uh, Garapan School Crossing. Um, that, that street light there or the, the crossing light is not in operation. And as you know, there's a lot of uh, almost mishaps over there. So that needs to be addressed. The funding also will address some of Earhart's, uh, Earhart Drive's uh, uh, road going up in uh, Gualarai to separate funds there to address that issue up there, as well as installation of hotel, uh, uh, Western Europe and uh, Hotel Street uh, street lights, as you know, if you drive into the Western Garapan district, the li there's no lights in that that area, so that needs to be addressed. Uh, our tourism uh, industry cannot benefit there because the tourists can't even walk through that street; it's too dangerous. Um, <clears throat> and so, maybe the the chairman of Ways and Means can follow up on that, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank but you. Uh, can we get a status update uh, just so we know what's sure. going on? Thank you, uh, Representative Yumo. So uh, the chair is, uh, is in communication already with the Secretary of Finance. Uh, apparently, uh, according to the Secretary of Finance, uh, since um, Saipan Local Law 22-06 was signed into law, uh, the Department of Finance did not create the account for the collections of these uh, local funds. Nonetheless, uh, they are uh, uh, the Department uh, the Division of Revenue and Tax are now working on all the payments that have been made uh, based on Saipan Local Law uh, 22-06, and those are now uh, uh, referred to the Secretary of Finance. So the chair would make uh, another follow-up uh, today. Uh, uh, the good news is that we we have noticed from uh, the Division of uh, Revenue and Tax that they have been collecting uh, these fees since the inception and the signing into law of uh, House Local, uh, Saipan Local Law uh, 22-06. So uh, I am confident that as uh, soon as we get all uh, this breakdown from the Division of uh, Revenue and Tax, uh, 
the Secretary of Finance will be approving this uh, uh, appropriation, and uh, and that uh, and I have also the chair has also communicated with uh, OMB. Uh, they stand ready to allocate this funding as soon as the Secretary of Finance approves uh, uh, this source of funding. Uh, further uh, discussion on uh, governor's communication. Uh, does that uh, answer you, uh, Rep. Uh, Yumo? You yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. As you know, the part of the funds also addresses Chef, and I believe Chef is also requesting funding. So if that can be addressed, uh, I know it's on the general fund, but yes, that, that will, will be addressed. addressed right away. Uh, as you know, there's students right. waiting for those funds. So As well as the Saipan uh, Mayor's Office as yes. well will be uh, addressed. Further discussion on uh, governance communication, I recognize our representative Vicente Camacho. I think I heard uh, Irhoi Drive, right? Irhoi Drive, yeah. One up and one right? We're going to get that done. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Camacho. Any further on uh, governance communications? Ready? Okay, thank you, members. If there's no further, we move down in our order of business. There happens to be none on item G, messages from the mayors of Saipan and Northern Islands. We move down to item H, reports and communications from heads and depart of departments and agency, Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have one, departments and agencies communication number 2311. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Discussion on um, reports and communication from heads of departments and agency. Ready? Thank you, members. Moving along, we are now on item I, House Communications. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have 15 House Communication numbers 2365 to 2379. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, discussion on House Communications. Ready? Thank you, members. Moving further down to item J, Senate Communications. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have Senate Communication number 2317. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Discussion on Senate communications. Ready? Thank you, members. Moving down, we are now on item K, delegation matters. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have four delegation matters, number 2367 to 2370. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Discussion on delegation matters. Ready? Thank you, members. We move further down on item L, miscellaneous communications. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have 15 miscellaneous communication numbers 2390 to 23104. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Discussion on miscellaneous uh, communications. Ready? Thank you, members. Moving along, we are now on item M, reports of standing committees. Madam Clerk. Mr. Chairman, we have one standing committee report number 2313. Thank you, and at this time, I recognize the floor leader for the proper motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members. I move to um, adopt Senate, I'm sorry, Standing Committee Report number 2313. Uh, it's now Standing Committee on JGO reporting on the appointment of Joseph Santos Rios Jr. to serve as a member of the Commonwealth Cannabis Commission, <laughs> representing the third senatorial district. Your committee on JGO recommends the confirmation of Mr. Rios. So moved. Thank you, uh, floor leader. The floor leader had uh, offered a motion for the confirmation of Mr. Joseph Santos Rios Jr. to serve as a member of the Commonwealth Cannabis Commission. And it has been seconded. Discussion on that motion. Ready. Ready. Thank you, members. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Representative Aldan. Representative Pato. Yes. Senator Babata. Yes. Representative Binaventi. Again. Representative Komatsu Angelo? Yes. Representative Komatsu Diego? Yes. Representative Komatsu Joel? Good. Representative Komatsu Senti? Yes. Senator De Leon Guerrero? Yes. Senator Magofnia? Chairman, respectfully recusing myself. Thank you. Representative Omar? Hungan. Representative Probes? Yes. Representative Villa Gomez? Yes. Representative Yumu? Mr. Chairman? Hungan. Mr. Chairman, 14 members voted yes. Thank you, uh, Madam Clerk, with 14, 14 members present voting in the affirmative. 
the confirmation of Mr. Joseph Santos Rios Jr. to serve as a member of the Common Commonwealth Cannabis Commission is hereby adopted by this delegation. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Uh, Rios. And uh, if we can just have a short recess to have a photo up with the uh, newly uh, confirmed uh, member. Short recess. Uh, we are back in session, and uh, before we enter into a short recess, we were at item M, reports of standing committees. Uh, we now move further down on our order of business. There happens to be none on reports of special and conference committee, none on item O, unfinished business. There is none on item P, resolution calendar, none on item Q, view calendar. We move down now to... Item R, miscellaneous business. Are there any miscellaneous business? Ready? Thank you, members. Moving along, we, we are now on item S, announcement. Is there any announcement? Uh, recognize uh, Representative uh, Diego Vincent Kamatsu. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just uh, sharing an in invitation to the viewing public for the uh, 25th anniversary of uh, Dada Middle School and their Totut family bash, which will take place this evening at 5 p.m. at their campus. And also just a kind reminder and invite to the viewing public for to attend the uh, uh, San Vicente uh, Fiesta taking place this Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Kamatsu. Are there uh, further announcements? Uh, recognize uh, Senator Corona. Thank you, Chairman. I just also wanted to let the public know that the Senate Standing Committee on um, resources, economic development, programs, and gaming will be holding a public hearing next Tuesday at 1.30 
p.m. at the Senate Chamber for the uh, Coral Ocean Point um, lease. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator uh, Karina Magofnia. Are there any further? Recognize that Representative Vincent Odon. Thank you, Chair. Um, so we have the, uh, the Green Waste Project. Uh, it was supposed to start this week, but it was canceled due to a fire breakout. So, but we are moving already the, all the tools and equipment up to us, Gorno, and they'll be starting uh, next week, uh, Monday, or no, Monday is uh, Thursday, so Tuesday. Yes. And uh, the purpose of the project is to allow everyone to avail to uh, green waste mulch for their garden or their farming. Uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Ardon. Any further announcement? Representative Yumo, are you going to announce the waste mints, the house? Where you recognize? Uh, okay, I will. Um, that's for the delegation, right? Not for the house. Yes. Yeah. I mean, for the yeah, the, house, the local delegation bill. Local appropriations. Yes. Okay. That will be Tuesday, according to uh, our uh, Waste and Means Chairman for the House. There is further announcement. Uh, recognize uh, Vincent, uh, Representative Aldan. That, uh, sorry again, but uh, yeah, I just forgot the most important part. It's free. The mulching okay. is free. All so right. anybody can come and avail. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Are there any further announcements? Ready? Thank you, members. We are now on our last item on the agenda, adjournment, and I recognize the floor leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and colleagues. I offer a motion to adjourn this session subject to the call of the chair. There is a motion offered by our floor leader for adjournment, and it has been seconded. Discussion on the motion? Ready? All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed, say nay. Thank you, members. The ayes have it. We are now adjourned.